Welcome to part three of Kinefinity TV series Exposure Illuminated, helping you understand the exposure process in digital cinematography with the MAVO LF. Today we will talk about ETTL monitoring, which is an alternative way to control dynamic range instead of using highlight stops. Make sure to check out part one of the series where we talked about the basics of exposure with MAVO and the difference between ISO and EI mode, and part two where we cover highlight stops. In part one, we talked about how an important consideration in exposure is dynamic range, which is the range of brightness intensities from black to white that any camera sensor can capture. Even on a modern cinema camera like the MAVO LF, this range has limits, so we need to decide how to use that dynamic range. Specifically, we want to decide how much dynamic range should be assigned to the highlights or bright spots of the image above middle gray, and how much should be assigned to the shadow areas below middle gray. We already learned in part two how to control this with a highlight stop setting. But the dynamic range distribution can also be controlled using modified LUTs, which push the image in exposure in a process called ETTL monitoring. This takes advantage of exposure settings such as ISO 500, which offer lower noise and other image quality advantages. ETTL, which means exposed to the left, essentially means choosing to treat middle gray as darker than normal. This means that there is more range in the highlights, less range in the shadows, and a higher effective sensitivity. This works because the MAVO LF performs well in its shadow range, especially at lower ISOs such as 500. To use ETTL monitoring, you need to install ETTL LUTs on your camera, which are the standard KC neutral LUT modified for exposure by increments of a stop. First, set your camera to ISO mode, with highlight stops at the default of 4.3. Then choose ISO 500, or another ISO, where you feel noise levels and image quality are at their best. These are usually at or slightly below the base ISO. Next, apply the ETTL LUT of your choice. ETTL plus 1 treats middle gray as a stop darker, which means that your image becomes a stop brighter, and there is an extra stop of dynamic range in your highlights. ETTL plus 2 adds another stop, and ETTL plus 3 a stop further. To maintain normal exposure, you'll need to compensate the added brightness with the aperture, shutter speed, or ND filter. Similarly to what we learned with highlight stops in part 2, the choice of ETTL setting depends on a balance between highlight detail and shadow noise. With the normal LUT of ETTL0 or KC neutral, where the highlight stops correspond to your setting of 4.3, you can see the details outside the window are mostly blown out, and the light bulb is a gray blob. As we raise the ETTL monitoring LUT, compensating for the brighter image, we gain a stop of effective highlight range with each step, and highlights are handled better. However, as we raise the ETTL LUT, the shadow area becomes increasingly noisy because there are fewer stops of dynamic range assigned to it. The best ETTL setting for your shot depends on how much detail you need in the highlights balanced with noise in the shadows. In this high contrast situation, ETTL plus 2 and plus 1 both look pretty good. When you record your shot, keep in mind that the darker original exposure setting of ISO 500 is being recorded, so in post, you'll need to take an extra step to recreate the brighter exposure you monitored with ETTL. When the MAVO LF records a clip, it always saves the applied LUT next to it, so in post-production, all you have to do is apply the saved ETTL LUT to the clip it came with and you've achieved the exposure you monitored on set. Using ETTL monitoring to assign more range to the highlights has a similar effect to changing your highlight stop setting, but as we've seen, it's a more complicated process. However, our users have reported that in some cases, you might see improved noise levels and quality with higher effective sensitivities and a larger range in the highlights than you would using just highlight stops and ISO. So we recommend that you try it out, and as always, Perform tests to discover what works best for you. That sums it up for our look at ETTL monitoring. 
For more information about Exposure with Mavo LF, check out parts 1, 2, and 4 of this series, Exposure Illuminated. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more useful demos and real world shooting scenarios with the Kinefinity Mavo camera series. To stay up to date on our in depth tips and tutorials and developing technology from Kinefinity, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a request for a tutorial? Just tell us in the comments. Until next time, happy shooting! Thank you.